40 Slot Machine Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a 40 slot machine. This is a nail that I had thought of in the middle of the night a long time ago and I wasn't 100% sure how to do it and I kind of let it ferment for a while in my head, let it, let it simmer, get all the ideas down and it's actually so easy and so simple the way that eventually I figured out how to do it. So. Don't get too intimidated because this one, as long as you've got some straws, you should be good to go. I hope you guys like it. And I also did a nail yesterday that was a hand of cards that they kind of go together. So if you like cards and slot machines and all that stuff, I'll put a link to that in the description box below. So check that one out too. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So these are some little black pearls, uh, half pearls that I got from Beauty Big Bang that I'm going to be using to adorn my slot machine right along the top where they've got usually the big lights, but I don't, I obviously am not going to be adding lights. So I thought, hey, little half pearls that are very iridescent and kind of pick up the light would definitely work. So that's what I'm going to be using there. So now I'm going to take a piece of a straw and I'm going to cut it so that it's about the width of the nail. You want to make sure that you find a straw that is clear. That is definitely helpful. Then you're going to just make sure it's the right width on your on your little nail and then take some clear acrylic and attach it. The thing with doing these straws is that they don't really like to stick to acrylic. So when you're doing this, you kind of have to work quickly before your straw pops off because your straw is going to want to pop off. So get it so that it's attached with that clear acrylic very temporarily and then fill in around it. So I know that I'm a little bit off camera and I apologize, but you're going to want to have so that the acrylic, this is all clear, the acrylic goes, fills in all the gaps around the straw and then it just leaves a little bit in the middle. If you wanted to, you could completely encase your straw, go up and over the entire thing and go out the other side. That is definitely an option. I decided I would leave a window at the top of the straw, but I covered two thirds of it, which I think is about the minimum um, in order to prevent your straw from popping out. Because like I said, I mean, if you have seen like the spiral nails, they use straws because acrylic doesn't stick to it. Well, here you want your acrylic to stick to it. So you have to make sure that it is com it is covered enough that it's not just going to fall out later. And after I had it that it wasn't, it was attached, it was staying. So you don't really have to worry about it later, but just in this beginning part, make sure that you do completely cover it or completely cover it or cover it for the most part. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to be making another piece of straw that's right about that exact same length. So I held it up to the nail, marked off where it would need to be and then you're going to cut that piece off and fill it up so I have it so that it's sitting up against a nail form backing and I'm holding it pretty tightly so that it has a nice seal to the nail form backing and fill it up with white acrylic almost all the way to the top but not quite to the top very close let it be for just a couple seconds until it starts to turn matte ever so slightly then grab a piece of wire and put it right down the middle trying to get it as centered as possible and let that set. Once that is set, you're gonna to wanna to peel off the straw. So I, the reason you don't wanna fill your straw up all the way is because you need to have a good place to start peeling off the straw. So I was able to cut it a little bit because it wasn't filled all the way up and then I could peel it off. And once you get it peeled off, you should be all good to go. So then taking a little bit more white acrylic, there was, it wasn't quite flat right around the point where the wire gets inserted. So I'm just going to fill that in with a little bit more white and then file your, this is going to be the little spinny part in your slot machine. You need to file it because it is the exact same size as the inside of the straw because it was made inside the same kind of straw and it's not going to spin because you're going to be adding a little bit, a couple more layers on top of it, top coat and some paint. So you need to make sure that you file off enough acrylic that it becomes thin enough that it will spin after those next layers get added onto it. So just keep filing it. And so what I did is I filed it and then I tried it. I put it inside the straw in the nail to see if it would fit in there. And it did. And see if it spun freely. And if it seemed like it was a little bit on the small side, then you should be good to go. So now taking black paint, I'm going to be painting around just two circles to split my little slot machine cylinder into three bits. Because there's going to be the three different symbols that are going to be visible at each moment at each time. So you're going to want to just do this. This is part guide, part it makes it look like they're not attached, makes them look like they're separate. And then create little guides that are, you know, four spaces around the outside of the cylinder so that they're evenly evenly spaced and you get four sets of outcomes for your slot machine. Now, this is pretty much a set thing. You can't really change what you've got these four outcomes. Those are what you what you have to work with. Um, if your cylinder, if you found a straw that was bigger, you could definitely paint more. I This is the biggest straw that I had on hand and 
clear. That's the other thing is you have to find a large clear straw. So that, that's probably the one of the most challenging things about this design. So after you have that, you have all your little guidelines made on your cylinder, you're going to need to be painting your symbols. So make sure you're painting your symbols so that the wire comes out on the area that you want the spinning part of your your slot machine to be so they're not upside down and start painting them. I did want one to be a winning a winning uh, roll spin. So I did three sevens to start with just to make sure I didn't forget. And then the other symbols that I did as I did sevens, cherries, lemons, and then I wrote big win. There's a lot of different options here for what you can do on your slot machine. I would recommend trying to keep it simple and trying to do things that are very readily recognizable. To me, the most recognizable thing for any slot machine is going to be cherries and sevens. That's just the kind of thing when I think of a slot machine, those are the first two things that pop into my head. So I made sure I included plenty of those. And then big win is just small enough of words that I could paint them on here. So I decided to go with that. Um, otherwise, sometimes the slot machines, they have one that says jackpot, but that would be a lot to write in a small space. So just kind of randomize the rest of your three sides. That one you want it to be a winner, the other three you don't. So like I said, don't make them the same. And then because I know my yellow paint isn't super pigmented, I added a layer of white paint inside the lemons, leaving a thin black outline. Now I'm going to be painting in my symbols. So I'm going to start with filling in my sevens with red, filling in my cherries with red to start with, but then to kind of differentiate them between the sevens. I also added a little bit of burgundy, just a little shadow around the bottom of each cherry. And then they also have the green stems. So fill in your cherries and your sevens. Those are the ones I did uh, to begin with because my white paint was drying. And the big one, that one doesn't need any other kind of, any other kind of filling in because that one's pretty much, that one's done. That one you don't have to worry about anymore. But just go around and paint in your little symbols. I was actually surprised how quickly I was able to paint these. They're all pretty simple designs and they don't have too much um, extra color on them or anything. And then fill in your lemons with yellow. After you have that done, you're going to need to be applying a layer of matte top coat. I would recommend not using gel, but using regular matte top coat and letting this dry for a really long time because it's gonna be thinner and you wanna keep this as thin as possible. On a nail form backing, place down a bead of white acrylic Press it out so it's nice and thin. Then take a straw, same straw as you've been using all along, and kind of make a cookie cutter mark out of it so that you've got a little circle that's cut out that's the exact same size as the straw. And then poke a hole in the center of your little cookie cutter circle. Glue your little circle onto the end of your straw that is in the nail on the same side where the spinning part of the slot machine goes so that the wire that's in your cylinder will go through that and will stick out the other side. So your cylinder is stuck in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. Then with black gel polish, you're going to need to be painting over your nail the entire thing. And I know I said white acrylic to make that little circle, but it could be white, black, clear. Um, I would pretty much stick with those options, but white, black, or clear. So just paint over it. And when you're painting over your straw, make sure that you do leave a window for your symbols to be visible through. So paint over everything on this nail except for that window. And when you're doing this also, I just wanted to mention is I did not file this nail. If you... <laughs> I would not really recommend filing it. It's got kind of a weird shape going on, but it definitely has. Um, so just kind of be careful when you're applying your acrylic initially so that you don't have to file it. And then apply a layer. After that black gel polish is cured, apply a layer of no wipe tap coat over everything that's got the black gel polish on it. Make sure it's really, really covered and you didn't miss any spots. I know that's the hardest thing with this is every once in a while I miss a spot and then that just sets the whole thing haywire. And then apply some uh, gold chrome powder over the entire thing. You want this to be very, very gold, very rich looking, very, I don't know, very casino, I guess is the best way to, best way to go about this. But just really add gold chrome powder over everything. Make sure that it's very, very chromey. And then remove the extra dust just like that. And now we're going to be painting this. So there's options here too like I've been saying slot machines are so many different styles so many different options that there's a lot of you know a lot of variations that you can make with this I kept mine pretty simple so above my straw I wrote win and I started out with black paint I did fill this in later but just to begin with just to have a nice black black outline the reason um or the, when you have something that's got the chrome background and you're painting on top of it it can actually be very difficult to read what it is that's written or to see what design is written on there so you have to kind of do outlines and insides and make it use several colors on everything so that it pops and then underneath that i know it's almost impossible to see like i said chrome powder makes things hard to see i wrote 777 jackpot so that way you know that when that 777 comes up that you 
and get the jackpot. So I, I wrote that underneath it. My middle seven was larger than the outside sevens, which is not, you know, not necessary, but I did that anyway. So now on, you're going to want to fill in your sevens that are on your nail with red, just like you did for the sevens that are inside the cylinder. I think that just kind of ties it together a little bit more. And then I'm going to be filling in the wind that's above the straw with white paint. And since I do have that black outline, you don't really have to worry too much about placement or anything, but just make sure that the white lines that you're using are thinner than the black line so that the black outline does still show you're not completely covering it up because you do want that, like I said, to make this as visible as possible. So just keep everything nice and easy to see. And then I also added a little teeny tiny white highlight on my sevens and on the jackpot. So I didn't go through and completely fill in them as much, especially the sevens. I just added just a little wispy, a little wispy outline or highlight, I mean, on them with the white, just to kind of make it a little bit easier to see. And then apply a layer of gel sealer right around the cuticle area and pick up those black half pearls, which are absolutely gorgeous. They're super iridescent and they just look really quite perfect on this nail. I don't know. I thought they, I don't know. They, the circles just reminded me of the little lights that go above some slot machines. So I added five of them. So in a nice little row, just going right along there. After those are placed, I'm going to cure that. And then I'm going to be applying gel sealer over the top of the entire thing, including if you have, even if you don't have acrylic over the middle of your straw, apply gel sealer over the whole straw, that little window included, because you want nice and shiny and um, clear is the goal here. So then stick your little cylinder through your nail, bend it, test out the spin, make sure it spins good. So you're bending the wire, that's going to hold it in place so that your cylinder can't fall out, which is what that little circle on the end, that's kind of its, its purpose is to keep the cylinder in place once you're ready for it to be in place. Then cut off any extra wire, put a little, a uh, little drop of nail glue on the end of the wire and glue on a gold bead and you are all set and you can start playing with your slot machine. This is one of the most fun nails I have ever made. I think it just, it brings me so much happiness. I love it. I think it turned out amazing and it actually was a lot quicker to do than I originally anticipated. I expected I'd be working on this thing for hours and it really didn't take me that long. So I hope you guys like it and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.